In a groundbreaking scientific achievement, a US-based biotechnology firm called Colossal Biosciences claims to have successfully resurrected the dire wolf, a species that became extinct, believe it or not, around 12,500 years ago. The dire wolf, previously known only through fossil records and popularized, of course, by the fantasy drama television series Game of Thrones, have now made a real world return. The fluffy white canines, three of them, Romulus, Remus and Khaleesi, have been brought to life using ancient DNA cloning and gene editing technology to alter the genes of a grey wolf, the prehistoric dire wolf's closest living relative. The result is essentially a hybrid species, similar in appearance to its extinct forerunner. Before we delve into the science of de-extinction, let's tell you a little more about dire wolves. They were large canines that dominated southern Canada and America before they went extinct about 13,000 years ago. They resembled the grey wolves of today but were larger and had white coats. A dire wolf could be 3.5 feet tall, more than 6 feet in length and weigh up to 68 kilos. They hunted horses, bison, possibly mammoths as well. When many of those prey species became extinct, probably partly due to human hunters, the dire wolf may have also gone extinct. Now, while Romulus and Remus are six months old and stand four feet tall and weigh about 36 kilos, their sister, Khaleesi, is just two months old. So how did these scientists pull it off? Scientists at Colossal contacted museums and laboratories for dire wolf specimens and got access to a tooth thought to be about 13,000 years old, as well as a 72,000 year old skull. From these two specimens, the team was able to recover enough DNA to create two dire wolf genomes. A genome is essentially an organism's complete set of genetic information. The team compared the genomes with those of living canines, such as wolves, jackals and foxes, to identify the genetic variants for traits specific to dire wolves. So, for example, white coats, longer thick fur, this is some of the things they were looking for. It takes surprisingly few genetic changes to actually spell the difference between a living species and an extinct one. Like other canines, a wolf has about 19,000 genes. For your reference, humans and mice have about 30,000. So creating the dire wolves called for making just 20 edits in 14 genes in the common grey wolf that exists today. Dire wolves and grey wolves shared 99.5% of their DNA. The scientists then cloned the 14 key genes in the cell's nucleus to match those of the dire wolf. Healthy developed embryos were then transferred into domestic dogs, specifically large mixed breed hounds. They acted as surrogate moms. Researchers completed eight transfers in total with an average of 45 embryos on each attempt. On October 1st, 2024, the surrogates birthed Romulus and Remus. And a few months later, Colossal repeated the process with another clutch of embryos and another surrogate mother. And so on January 30th, 2025, that dog gave birth to Khaleesi. So what does this really mean for the world? Colossal was founded in 2021 and currently employs 130 scientists. And right now, the dire wolf isn't the only animal that they want to bring back. Also on their de-extinction wish list, if you will, is the woolly mammoth, the dodo and the Tasmanian tiger. Already in March, the company surprised the science community with the news that it had copied mammoth DNA to create a woolly mouse. So the company hopes the technologies that created the dire wolf can directly help endangered animals as well. Colossal said it's produced two litres of cloned red wolves, the most critically endangered wolf species. And they've done this using a new, less invasive approach to cloning developed during the dire wolf research. But there are mixed reactions. Even if Colossal's pups are indeed dire wolves, the species probably isn't reborn yet. Romulus, Remus and Khaleesi do not have parents. They've never met any other wolves. They do not know how to hunt. They're not allowed to breed and Colossal expects to genetically engineer just three to five more of the animals, so it's not really brought back. Most likely, these dire wolves have been brought back to life only and tragically to die again. There are also many who are concerned about the unforeseen consequences, like ecological chaos, there's ethical dilemmas as well. Reintroducing a species gone for 10,000 years also risks disrupting modern ecosystems.
If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.